It's your coach. It's your friend. It's the hybrid checking in. What's up, guys? Coming at you today. We're going to discuss shoulder pain and elbow pain when squatting. I mean, these are very common problems that a lot of lifters have during squats. And a lot of beginner lifters also have these problems. And I'd say in most cases, it's normally due to improper bar position, lack of flexibility, or too narrow of a grip. Now, the high bar squat position requires a lot less flexibility. And if you are a low bar squatter who experiences shoulder pain, I'd say the first thing you want to do is to convert over to high bar. The high bar position is going to allow you to have a much narrower grip, which is going to enable you to increase back tightness and bar stability with less shoulder stress. So that way you kind of get the best of both worlds, stability and hopefully shoulder pain relief. Now even though this is available, some people are going to still be experiencing shoulder pain even in the high bar position. And if that's you, it just means your shoulders are probably in a little, you know, they're in a worse state. Um, so the first thing you should try to do is switch out to a slightly wider grip. Now the wider grip is going to reduce the strain on the shoulder girdle. But you have to be careful not to use too wide a grip. Um, because too wide is going to force you to lose the back tightness and the bar stability. Another reason uh, you may have shoulder pain may be that you have the bar resting directly on your shoulder instead of your trapezoid muscles. This is kind of a tricky problem um, as you kind of have to play around with the bar and gain some experience under the bar to really figure out that proper shelf position but I think once you, you know, perform a few sets of squats and you'll be able to tell when you kind of have it locked into that correct position. Now, unfortunately, if you're, you know, smaller in stature, don't have a lot of muscle development yet, um, you know, the bar, you may not actually have those muscles yet, so the bar is going to just kind of really dig into your back and you're just going to have to suck it up and take it for a while until you kind of develop that muscle, develop those muscles. Alright guys, so another question may come up is, you know, since in case you don't have those muscles, should you use, you know, the, the bar pads or a towel? And I would definitely recommend not using any type of cushioning. Um, what usually happens is that elevates the bar on your back, which then places more stress on your lumbar region. And also you're usually not able um, to gain as much stability um, when you have those, you know, those supposedly bar pads or, you know, tiles or whatever is going to supposedly help you out. Now guys, I also throughout the video you'll see I'm squatting here with the safety bar. So this is going to be probably your best bet as far as really relieving shoulder strain and elbow pain. And this bar isn't too expensive so I mean, if you really are intent on squatting and it's just really painful with the regular bar, honestly, I think this is your best bet. Uh, you can probably find one for under $200. Other things here, you can locate a gym with a monolift. Uh, you know, use alternative squat methods, front squats. Uh, you know, you can do front squats with your hands folded. Or you can utilize the straps for front squats as well. So guys, I hope these tips helped you out. Um, there's also, of course, you know, you can get glucosamine chondritin MSM as a supplement. 
and I would definitely take that along with USP Lab Super Systems RX. I've had a great number of lifters who've used that combination. It's helped to relieve a lot of pain for them. As well, you can take, you know, over the counter, you know, pain relief such as the capsaicin I, I usually put on some days. And also uh, just some good old biofreeze. Other than that, guys, I mean, you're just going to really have to want it. If it hurts, uh, you know, you're going to have to just struggle through it. Afterwards, you know, do whatever you need to do. If that includes icing your elbows, you know, for pain, shoulders, whatever it is. At the end of the day, you know, as lifters, everything is going to always be comfortable. So sometimes you're just going to have to suck it up and do the work. So guys, in the video, you'll see this was a Saturday. On Saturdays, I usually squat. It's usually my third or fourth session of squats during the week. Um, I try and go over and squat uh, with Goggins Force usually. So if I have a heavy day coming up, I'll usually try and do it there. As there's usually guys to spot me that actually know what they're doing versus during the week when I'm usually in the global gym. And they also have all the different types of bars there. So it's a good, you know, good day for me on Saturdays. I'm usually looking forward to Saturday. So on this day, I did safety bar squats. Uh, I want to say I stopped at around 435, 425. And then at the end, I repped out. Uh, it looks like that's about 340 or somewhere in that range. The kilo plates kind of throw me off, but I'll, I'll go back over the video and probably, um, you know, label the weights if I have time before I post it. And after that, I just did some deficit pulls um, you know, off the block. I don't know, that's probably two or three inch block, um, conventional style. Of course, I normally pull sumo, so conventional is definitely challenging for me. And here, I believe I was just doing sets of five. Um, I went up to 495. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. As always, comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys next video. Thanks.